Good morning, everyone. It is January 20th, Saturday morning, around 10.32 a.m. Eastern, and decided to show uh, some of my mail days. So I typically buy cards uh, from various folks that I know online and in forums and, you know, various places. So I thought, you know, instead of opening it in isolation on my own, like I normally would, I will break it live and show you all. So got this package here. I've taken the name off to protect privacy of those who sent it to me, but I'm going to get right into it now. So pardon the, the noise, but let's uh, see what I got. And I'll be honest with you, I actually don't even know what I bought. It was literally one of those, hey, I mean, I have um, a lot of X amount of cards. Here's the price. Do you want it? And sometimes buying things blind is fun. There have been various YouTube shows and podcasts about people buying different things in, in blind, and they've had some fun with it. So I decided I will try this as well. Um, so I'm, long story short, I'm going to get into it now. So I already like the box. So I'll be keeping the box. So it's an old Pokemon box, uh, Celebrations. So the person, uh, this is actually comes in quite handy. It's actually nice when you buy lots and you can actually reuse the supplies. I reuse uh, a ton of supplies. Um, I am a big proponent of recycling. And I want to make sure that I'm reusing and reusing wherever possible. That makes sense. Especially since our hobby is an extremely wasteful one. If you think of all the, the, the boxes you break and the foil wrappers and the plastic and then penny sleeves like this. This isn't good for the environment. So as much as I, I hate to use plastic, there's a necessity in our hobby to do it. I know on Clubhouse there are some people talking about, you know, potentially using uh, recyclable, biodegradable um, products to potentially, you know, help with that situation. But I haven't followed up on those items since then. So let's get into it. So I just opened up the box. This is a really neat box. It's a Pokemon trainer box, a 25th anniversary box. So I'll be keeping this for sorting. I'll put that on one side. Uh, and the person who sends this to me is very good at um, protecting, and he also recycles stuff, see? So, I'm going to put that in here. Take the tape, throw it in the garbage. Give me one second, and I'll do it while I'm doing this. Don't need the bubble wrap, if I can go. And look, I even got an extra penny sleeve. Go figure, eh? Recycling. I'll use that somewhere down the line. Or maybe even in here. So let's open up these packs first. Let's see what we got here. Like I said, I bought this blind, so I don't know what's in here. Some stuff may be worth um, putting in penny sleeves. So uh, Jacob Evans, Hoops, rookie. Omari Spellman, rookie. Uh, Landry Sham Shamit. Rookie. Now, he was huge at one point. Uh, I guess a lot of people and influencers fell off of him. We got uh, Joel Embiid. Uh, the Raptors put him out of his misery uh, in that famous game with Kawhi Leonard with the, the, the last second shot. Never forget that. Being a Raptors fan, that is something that will be in my memory forever. So I saw the Raptors win a championship. Now, if my Leafs can win a championship, that's a whole different problem. Another Omari Spellman. Bruce Brown. Uh, Zainan Musa, Mo Bamba, I love that name, Mo Bamba, DeAndre Ayton, who has high, high acclaim, so I'll probably put him on one side as a, something to put in a penny sleeve, Colin Sexton, another one, uh, Lonnie Walker, now my limited, I have limited basketball knowledge, I'm going by what I've heard on YouTube, and various people that I've talked to that are into basketball, I don't really buy basketball much, I mean, I have some blasters that I'll break, but for fun, but Basketball is not my sport. My sport is hockey. Miles Bridges. Um, we can, the reason I recognize this name is uh, Upper Deck has some of its autographs in his products, uh, in their products, rather. I believe it's Goodwin. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it's that. Um, usually, they have a pretty good idea of who's going to be good or not, so I'll probably put that in a, in a penny sleeve just in case. Uh, Kita Bates Diop. I wonder where he's from. Let's check. It doesn't say on the back of Panini cards where they're from, but uh, Aaron Holiday, another Aaron Holiday. We got Javon Carter. Oh, these are kind of cool. Um, Josh Okogi. This is the Faces of the Future, kind of like Back to the Future kind of style to it. 
Uh, DeAndre Ayton again, I guess a lot of people are high on. A little nick in the corner, so I won't bother Penny sleeping that one. Um, it's not worth it. And we got Chris Paul. Uh, the guy is a future Hall of Famer for sure. I think he is anyways. Um, he hasn't been on a million teams, so anyway, that's uh, Chris Paul. LaMarcus Aldridge. Uh, this looks to be a parallel. Um uh, I'm going to have to figure out the difference in this one. Let me see. Uh, nope, but this looks like to be a gold foil type of uh, deal. I love Marcus Aldridge. Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma again. Kyrie Irving. And the GOAT. He's a GOAT. There's no doubt about it. He's a three-point GOAT. Um, uh, Steph Curry. Although it says Stephen Curry. We all know him as Steph Curry. And he has a... Home here in Toronto. He grew up here for a bit with his dad, Del Curry, who played with the Raptors. So there's a soft spot for a lot of us Canadians for Steph Curry. And he married a, a Canadian as well. I think. Could be wrong, but I think she's from Toronto. Regardless, um, we have a soft spot in our heart for Steph Curry. And he's a guy that's very easy to love. There's not a mean bone in the body. And He's a very easy player to love. Anyway, let's go into so we next on Prism. So this is the good stuff. However, I've heard of a lot of issues with printing uh, and getting these things graded, but I'm not into that game anymore. Not for the time being. We got Dwight Howard, who's also been on a million teams. Uh, Reggie Jackson, Justin Jackson, the rookie. So I'll slab that. You never know what those. Uh, Colin Sexton's another one that people are pretty high on. So I'll put that in there. Pile. Aaron Holiday. Yeah, Shy Gilgos Alexander. I believe he's Canadian. I'm pretty sure he is. Let me just double check here. If this says anything. Yep. Gilgos Alexander is the latest in a long line of Canadians to shine in La La Land. Uh, no Martin Short. Point guard is six foot six with a wingspan of nearly seven feet. With a style like that grooves like a Drake beat. And the ball handling moves as smooth as a Ryan Gosling piano solo. The Toronto native has the Clippers seeing stars. Man, whoever wrote that at Panini, wow. I really love that. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but wow. This is awesome. I'm, it put a smile on my face. So, Shai Gilligas Alexander is Canadian, and he's uh, doing pretty good. So, I'm going to put him in a penny sleeve. We've got Hamadou Dallo, Diallo, sorry. Chimezi Metu, a rookie. And uh, there are a lot of players in the NBA that are of African descent. I can't, I, I don't want to make a general uh, idea of the background just on a name. Uh, he might be of African descent, but it's, it's irresponsible of me to make a, a what's the word I'm to look for? An assumption without actually proving it. So I want to see if it said anything back here. Uh, doesn't say anything on the back of this. i uh, check this one as well, just in case. Nope, it doesn't say on the back on here. Anyway, I don't want to make assumptions, so I will look this up later. And if it's true, that's great. Moitz Wagner, uh, rookie, Lakers. I think I'm going to put that on a sleeve. Zaire Smith, I just love the name. Zaire Smith, rookie. Bruce Brown, Patrick Ewing, Kevin Knox, Frank Mason. And these are all prism parallels. Anyways, I'm not going to go into a huge deal of that because I think the whole, pl whole fascination with Prism and Prism Parallel. Like, I don't want to get into that. That's not, I'm just here to show you what I got. Um, Joel Embiid, Prism. Svi Mihailuk, uh, Lakers. I forgot to put that on a penny sleeve. Of course, these aren't really penny sleeves anymore. They're really expensive. So, um, they have to come with a new name, the quarter sleeves. Anyway, Brandon Clark. Uh, these are cool. These are Prism as well. I don't know all the different flavors of the inserts anymore. There's just too many, but it's like a green. I'll say green mosaic for now. John Stockton, I grew up watching this guy in the heyday. When I was watching basketball, it was like the, the Larry Bird versus Magic Johnson era. Then he evolved into the Jordan era. I grew up watching guys like John Stockton play. And I love that the fact it says Hollow Fame. That's really well done uh, in terms of the writing. And uh, it's really, really tough. And me being an artist myself and being constricted to a, a space like this and have so many league restrictions and rules and how you can use card uh, certain images on cards and context of, is it clear? Will people get it? It's kind of sad. I don't think a lot of people pay attention to the base cards, but that was really well written. Hall of Fame. So I want to give a shout out to Panini for that. And then Kyrie Irving, um, he has a, he's a controversial player, but clearly he's a really good player because he came back and came back with a vengeance. So I'm going to put this on one side. 
So those are two of these little teen bags of cards I got. Like I said, this is a mystery lot. I do not know what I'm expecting. So let's go through, open this up, and get the tape off because I want to recycle this. Actually, I can do that out off camera. Okay, so what do we got here? Ah, more of, and what I like about it is uh, he shipped it in one of these boxes, which means I get to reuse it. So that's always helpful. So let's just, uh, just uh, try to make sure this doesn't fall over. Okay, well, actually, I'll do it this way, and I'll bring um, this over here, and I'll put the comments and signals there. Okay. Who do we have here? We have Darius Baisley Mosaic. Is that like a pink or a pink mosaic uh, para? Uh, let's keep on top of all variations. Seku Dumbuya, Dumbuya, sorry, out of the Pistons, who are the only team that can beat Jam Masters. That's pretty cool. Jordan Mora, pretty cool rookie. Luke Kennard, rookie. Oh, no, sorry, uh, pink. Again, I probably don't know all the different parallels. It's way really easier to break this online when I'm for a connection and look at it. I could probably read it while we're talking. Anyway, regardless, we have a green egg of Josh Okogi, Jalen Smith, rookie, Nico Mannion, rookie. Now we're going to get some baseball. Is there any basketball? Let's, let's just go in order here. Is there any more basketball in here? Yeah, there is some basketball. Let's finish up with the basketball and do it in order. Let's go back to basketball. Uh, Malachi Flynn, rookie. He's a, a Raptor, and for sure I'm going to put him in a penny sleeve. Uh, Zeke, Zeke Naji, rookie. Obi Toppin. I love that name. I could be saying his name, but Obi Toppin. I just love the name. It's just a really cool name. Devin Vassell is another cool name. He's a rookie. He's an NBA debut rookie. Paul Reed, rookie, Philadelphia. Josh Green. Devin Dotson, uh, does it say what kind of insert this is? Let me see. It's a Donald's Optic, but it's a rated rookie, but I didn't believe there is probably, the, is it the Prism version? Yes, so it is a Prism version. So if you can see right there, the Prism version. There's a Donald's Optic. You can see right here, it's a Donald's Optic. This person who sent me this lock clearly broke a lot of blasters. Kenyon Martin, rookie. Another Hollow Fame, David Robinson. Really cool. I like the I really like the flavor of these inserts there. Really nice. We have a uh, Derek Fisher Bang insert. Derek Fisher was a was an amazing player to watch. I remember him watching. Uh, it wasn't that long ago. It was only two thousand and four. You see from the title there. Uh, but he was a fantastic player. Harrison Barnes. I want to say Orange Optic. I'm not sure. Or Orange Mosaic. Sorry. Draymond Green, the player I love to hate. I respect him, but God, I hate listening to. Him. And then cause like, anyway, that's a different story for a different day. Karis Levert, uh, Green Mosaic, Goran Dragic, who's uh, um, has seen has had quite a career, uh, he's been around for a while. Um, and I believe he is the guy that Tim from uh, Com C, the owner of Com C, collects. Uh, Goran Dragic, uh, Alexei Pukusevsky, no, Pukusevsky, if I'm saying it wrong, but it's a rookie. Daniel Otaru, Clippers rookie. Bogdan Bogdanovich, another cool name for the Hawks. This is upside down. This is uh, Vernon Carey Jr., Mosaic. Odoka Azubuiki. I'm probably saying that really wrong. Uh, Marcin Gortat. I believe it's a really cool looking card, actually. It's really neat. Look at that. And then Obi Toppin again. I don't know. I think the reason I like the way I like the name Obi it reminds me of Obi Wan Kenobi, maybe. And I'm a huge Star Wars fan. So let's see. Is there any more basketball in here? I'm going to finish up with basketball first. Okay, we'll just go. Okay, so we have James Harden uh, hoops. Jason Tatum. These are probably purple parallels that come in hoops. Another Jason Tatum parallel. Uh, Danny Abidija. This is from Prestige. Uh, Peyton Pritchard, rookie. Devin Vassell, rookie. Tyrese Halliburton. Emmanuel Quickly. Actually, that's kind of cool. Quickly. I uh, wonder if he is actually a very fast player, but I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Tyrese McKee. Sorry, Maxi. Threads. Isaac Okoro. 
Uh, Nico Mannion, apologies. I just realized I did the cardinal sin where I'm looking at the cards and not the card in the camera. Make sure they're in focus. So I'll move my hand over. Uh, Precious Achua, he's now with the Leafs. Oh, sorry, Leafs. Sorry, he's with the Raptors. Uh, that's a, a rookie card. I'm going to keep that because I'm a Raptors fan. Uh, Tyrese Maxey again. Uh, Sadiq Bay, I like the name. Uh, Patrick Williams. Uh, Isaac Okoro, I like that name as well. I'm a big, I lo love names. Some names are really cool, and I, I want to call that out. We have uh, Kira Lewis Jr., uh, rookie card for New Orleans. Kira Lewis again for New Orleans. We got Cole Anthony Threads rookie. Moses Brown rookie. And again, these names, I don't recognize them as being um, the ones to hold on to. I'll have to look into this later. But like I said, I, brought, I bought this lot blind. So. And there's some reason why I like buying the lots blind. I let them sit. It's like a fine wine. After a while, they gain value. And sometimes some cards end up being really good cards. Who knows? Maybe there is a Steph Curry equivalent in here somewhere. And I'll look back in time and make, oh, wow, I have one. So we have Vassal, Devin Vassal. This is a cool looking insert. Our rookie. Kwai. He's got a soft spot for Kwai because he brought us Raptors to championship. It really sucks that he left, but you know what? Um, the other reason why I like this is uh, it's a marquee rookie in, in uh, upper deck in OPG platinum and OPG in general. Uh, some of the products we have marquee rookie, so it makes me think of a hockey crossover. Um, I missed the guy, I think he was awesome, and I'm really happy he brought us the championship. Oh, there's the guy that I know I can recognize the name of James Wiseman. So I'll definitely put that one in a sleeve. Oops, didn't mean to show that one, that was incorrect. Theo Maladin, uh, rookie is kind of thick. This is Threads. Uh, Jason Tate, rookie, and it looks like a parallel gold rated rookie of Jason Tate. Jason Tate again. Uh, Kent Bazemore Prism. Kelly Olenek, another Canadian. Um, he's uh, he's been on a few teams. Boston for one. I think my name is the other. Uh, yeah, more Canadians in the league. Bogdan Bogdanovich, I love that name. Oh, soft spot, Jonas Valanciunas. Just a good all-around guy. He just he, he feels like a, a good person, like a neighbor you want to get to know and a friend you would want to go and hang out with. He seems like a really cool guy. Um, Jimmy Butler, my house. This guy's cool. He's got pizzazz. That's why I like Jimmy Butler. Josh Green, rookie. Devin Booker, my house, rookie. These are really well done. Isaiah Stewart. John Morant, uh, this is an insert. Uh, Nick Richards, John Stockton, Express Lane, can't go wrong with that. Sadiq Bay, Peyton Pritchard, uh, Devin Booker, Optic, uh, I think it says Splash. Yep, insert. Carl, uh, sorry, Anthony Davis, uh, T minus, insert. Not sure I'm a big fan of these ones. Uh, JJ Reddick, uh, these are the parallels that are in the, in the blasters, I believe. I can't remember what they called them off the top of my head. Doesn't say on the back. Anyway, this is a parallel. Tony Parker and J. Holiday, I believe, are also parallels. Uh, Kevin Knox, Mo Bamba, just love that name. And then Get Out, Russell Westbrook. This is fitting that it seems like very much like a Russell, Russell Westbrook, sorry, Russell Westbrook type of thing to say. I like him. I like, I like Russell Westbrook. I think he's a misunderstood, and, and I think people painted the wrong picture with him. That's just my interpretation of Russell Westbrook. Um, but he's a guy I would love to have on my team. I just think he's a really cool dude. Um, let me just get him in here. It's driving me nuts while I was showing you the card, but this wasn't in a penny sleeve, so I'm going to go put that in a penny sleeve. Okay, so let's get into other ones. There might be some football and baseball in here, but try and keep it in order. Uh, okay, so I'll keep the baseball separate. Oops. Let's just put this back in the right spot. Uh, yeah, and there's some hockey in here. Yes, okay, I'm happy. There's some hockey. So let's go to football. So Alex Leatherwood, no idea if he's any good. Uh, Jamar Chase, he has had some uh, notoriety, uh, from what I understand. So I think that's something I'm going to have to look into. I'm pretty sure he's one to keep. Uh, Ramondre Stevenson, Ben Skouronek, and Michael Carter. David Bakhtiari, I like that name, Bakhtiari. I like the, the insert that looks. Eric Stokes, Des Fitzpatrick, and Christian Derrysaw. 
Derek Henry, this is a uh, retro um, a throwback to old school uh, Donruss. Uh, sorry, I'm more used to seeing this look with the baseball. Jared Patterson, Kellen Mond, bon, no, sorry, Mond, Chris Evans, Tattoo Atwell, and Jace Horn. I'll put that over here. And then I'm having trouble seeing these cards, but this is from uh, Illusions. Yep, this is Illusions Football. Um, I'm trying to be so. This is Michael Carter, Rondale Moore, Javante Williams. I'm thinking because it's a foiling, this is a parallel. Doesn't say on the back. Uh, Rashad Bateman, Anthony Schwartz, Devonta Smith, Matt Ryan, another parallel in his green color. Chuba Hubbard, Cornell Powell, Ian Book, Kellen Mond, Travis Etienne Jr. I like the last name Etienne. Oops. This one. Oh, Matt Stafford. That's, that's a green one. It's also probably parallel. Oh, these are cool. So I don't know if you can see these. These are like see through, right? To Kyle Pitts of the Falcons. He's a shining star. Like that one. And uh, this is another parallel. It's got some star on it, uh, star foiling on it. So Nico Mel Collins, Kenneth and Wangu, Cornell Powell. Travis Etienne Jr., Jamar Chase. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Jamar Chase. I need to hold on to, but I could be wrong. Javis Miller, Ian Book, Rondell Moore, Des Fitzpatrick, Anthony Schwartz, Terrence Terrace, Marshall Jr., Pat Firemuth, uh, Devonta Smith. Another name I recognize. Illusions of OK Metcalf or DK. Sorry, I think I said OK. It's DK. Oops. DK Metcalf. Also see through. That's kind of cool. Carson Wentz, uh, um, Jalen Hurts, of course he's a he's a he's a good one, and then George Kittle, um, which I believe is probably a parallel because it's got shiny. The only crappy part about some of these things is this is a really cool looking insert, but it's going to be the amount of plastic and processing that goes into these cards, and for cards are huge stars, it just seems like a waste. So, um, but mind you, that's the rub. We 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 as collectors, we want to see different inserts and stuff. So we don't think of the higher picture of what happens down the line. But you know what? That, that's the point of this is not to go into that. So let's get into baseball. So we got Liam Hendricks, uh, top seventy. He was a Blue Jay for a cup of coffee. Uh, these are like base cards uh, inserts. So Nolan Arenado, Mariano Rivera, legend Justin Verlander, Hall of Famer and legend to be Ortiz. Evan White, Casey Mize, rookie, Peter, Peter Alonzo. And this is the holiday version. I'm not going to boil the ocean on this one, but this is just the holiday parallels. I'm just going to see if there's any rookies in here. Oh, there's a foil one in here. Actually, uh, yeah, there's a couple. There's the foil one here, the foil one here. Of Peter DeJean, Paul DeJean, Isaac Paredes. Uh, Whit Merrifield, that's actually a good prospect. Uh, oh, we have a jersey hockey. We're getting the hockey. All right, this is my jam. This is my jam. I wasn't expecting hockey to be quite honest with you. Um, but let's get into it. So, Eric Healy, uh, jersey that'll go to Com C. Jean Marc Pelletier, this is from Heroes and Prospects. Um, 050, no, 03. Sorry, this is a year before Crosby's rookie, so 0304. Uh, prospects or oh, 0405, one or two, I can't remember because Cosby's 0506. And look, the autograph's still pretty clean on that, so that'll go to Com C because I, I, I want to do with that. Couple of uh, in the game top prospects cards Adam Bertle and Robbie Shrimp. He was with the London Knights. I don't remember where Bertle played, it says on the back here. Um, all it says was a black uh, Oshawa, he was with Oshawa. And Shrimp, I'm pretty sure it was with the um, London Knights. Pretty sure. Doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty sure he was a London Knight. Uh, we have a Jonathan Tate. Oh, this is the Tim Hortons card. So I actually haven't seen any of these because I haven't gone to Tim Hortons to buy any. I, I know I bought a lot of them, but they haven't come in yet. We have Jonathan Tate. This is a really sharp looking card. This is UD Canvas Moments. Uh, championship medal. I'm finally happy to see this. Just can actually see what this looks like. This is really neat. It's got the embossing here. This is Sam Reinhardt. Carey Price. Can't go wrong with Carey Price. My friend name. We'll love to see that. Oh, we got some Connor McDavid's in here. This is nice. So in my mystery lot, I got a Connor McDavid uh, program um, of excellence. 
This is awesome. And you'll notice in uh, Canada, we have it in dual languages. So it's the English and this is the French. So that's really neat to see because we want to foster um, um, equality in our landscape there. And then we got championship medals, Crystal Tang. This is really cool. It's a, one of my favorite inserts I've seen of hockey this year, I have to say. There's a lot. Captains of Corey Perry uh, with Montreal last year. He just moved to uh, uh, Tampa Bay this year. Alexis Lafreniere. Um, so the book is still out on him in terms of what kind of player he'll be. People start paying a lot of money for a lot of his cards. I don't know where he's going to be in New York, but New York's taking their time with him, which I'm happy with. Tavares, UOD canvas moment. We have a, this is Kyle Turris, who's having some problems in Edmonton. I think we've done the waiver wire just recently. PK Subban, I love this guy. He, he's a bombastic person, uh, but he spoke you know, fondly of the game, and, um, uh, you know, he's getting up there, so I don't have any more years he has left, left in him, but uh, I, I do like him. Kale McCarr, the guy's a beast. Beast! Have you seen those shots of goals? Beast. And finally, we have a rookie sweater of Tylon Wallace of the Ravens. This is uh, a Christmas version, and what is he wearing? He's this includes authentic memorabilia, not from any specific game or event. This is from Donner's Football. So clearly, I wonder if this is from his hat. It doesn't really match because the colors don't line up in here. I don't know if you can see. I wonder if it looks like even a sock. I wonder if he was throwing out some stuff in a Salvation Army and they just grabbed one and made a card out of it. That's a... I would love to know. What, oh, I'm sorry. Really silly. It's a sweater. It says right there. So it's a sweater. So he wore like, the sweater somewhere. And they cut it up made a card. Okay, that is my mail day. A bit long, 26 minutes on a mail day. Holy cow. Um, I hope you enjoy this. If you do, please look out so, uh, for our future interviews coming up on the Monday, Tuesday this week. Cheers, everyone. Have a good day and stay good.